Well, you may want to consider getting an updated COVID booster or the flu vaccine if you haven't already. It appears to be pretty evenly split right now for these viruses. Medical reporter Liz Bona shares the latest numbers. Hey there, everybody. Infectious disease specialists tracking both the flu and COVID-19 say hospitals in our area are near capacity and emergency rooms are still extremely busy due mainly to respiratory illnesses that are still going around. It was terrible. I mean, <laughs> I might be a wimp. I don't get sick very often, but the body aches, fever, chills, headache, you know, the whole nine yards. Those who've had these respiratory illnesses, such as Tiffany Mattingly, say they knock you out for days. And two weeks later, I'm still sinusy. And Dr. Carl Fichtenbaum, an infectious disease specialist at UC Health, says right now it's mainly flu and COVID-19 topping the list for admissions in local hospitals. So what's outpacing what? Is it COVID or flu? So COVID and, and flu are kind of running neck and neck right now. He's right. According to Ohio's Health Collaborative, 177 flu cases now in area hospitals, 23 of them admitted to ICU. For COVID-19, it's 177 admitted, 22 in the ICU. Those numbers have been climbing since the Thanksgiving holiday. Since the holiday, we're seeing a bump in the number of people who are sick and the bump in the number of people who are coming into the hospital, yes. Well, Dr. Fichtenbaum says most area teams do have admission capacity. What this does now is it makes our emergency rooms a little bit fuller, and we are seeing more people who are coming into the hospital for these kinds of infections. You are being asked to reach out to your own doctor or an urgent care center, if possible, before heading to the emergency room. Guys?